Hello friends, welcome again to another problem solving session. The question says in an AP, the sum of first n terms is 3n square by 2 plus 5n by 2. So an expression for the sum of first n terms of an AP has been given. You have to find out 25th term. Okay, so expression for Sn is given. So what is given? Sn. Sum of first term as a function of n is given. 3n square upon 2 plus 5n upon 2. Correct. And we have to find out a25. Now, if you remember, uh, we had discussed while we were discussing the sum of n terms of an AP that in any AP, Sn minus Sn minus 1 is a n. This is one of the results which we obtained while analyzing the sum of n terms of an AP. Correct. So we are going to use this concept in this question. Alternatively, you can also solve through the, you know, the direct method that is direct application of the formula. What is Sn? Sn is given as n upon 2 uh, twice a plus n minus 1d. Right. So from this also, we can see, let's see both the approaches. Right. So the first approach is Sn minus S minus Sn minus 1 is a n. So what is Sn is given? What is Sn minus 1? Sn minus 1 will be wherever there is an n, replace it by n minus 1 square. Uh, sorry, n minus 1 simply. So 3 n minus 1 square by 2 plus 5 n minus 1 by 2. This is S n minus 1, right? So we will get a n as S n minus S n minus 1. So I'll write the expressions. So it is 3 by 2 n square plus 5 by 2. Um, what is that? n and minus 3 by 2 n minus 1 squared plus 5 by 2 n minus 1. Now you can club n, n square together or 3 by 2 together and what will be left with you is n square minus n minus 1 whole square correct and this one is plus 5 by 2 n and minus n minus 1 right so let's now simplify this further so 3 by 2 n square minus n minus 1 whole square is n plus n minus 1 within the identity and we can write this as n minus n plus 1 so a minus b a plus b form and this one is plus 5 by 2 n and n will get cancelled we will be left only with a 1 okay so this is 3 upon 2 now within brackets what is it 2n minus 1 2n minus 1 and this is simply 1 so okay only this much plus 5 by 2 right so let's do it further so this is um, 3n Let's open the bracket. 3 into 2n by 2 is 3n. And then minus 3 by 2 plus 5 by 2. Right. So this becomes 3n. And uh, what will this be? 3n. 5 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is 1. So 3n plus 1. Correct. So uh, we got a n. A n as 3n plus 1 right so a25 we have to find out a25 so what is a25 isn't it this was a n so a n is equal to this much so a25 will be 3 times 25 plus 1 76 now let's try to solve this problem through another approach through the formula method right so sn is given to be n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 d so we can find out S1 very easily, right? So S1 is how much? So put uh, n equals to 1. So it will be 1 by 2. And uh, it will be 2 times A. So in this case, if you expand this, you will get uh, NA plus 
n square by 2d and minus n by 2d correct and arranging this in order you will get n square d by 2 okay and this one will be n common and it is a minus d by 2 right so and sn is given as uh, n square times 3 by 2 plus n times 5 by 2 so if you compare this one this is through the formula and this is through given right so you can compare d by 2 will be equal to 3 by 2 the coefficient of n square that means d is equal to 3 okay and from the other side a minus d by 2 will be equal to 5 by 2 if you compare the coefficient this coefficient and this coefficient of n so this implies a is equal to d plus 5 by 2 which is nothing but 3 plus 5 by 2 which is 4 so you got a as 4 correct so you can now find out a 25 a 25 is uh, a plus 24d right so that means a is 3 plus 24 into sorry a was 4 so a is 4 a is 4 plus 24 into 3 which is again 76 so in both the cases you will get the value as 76 right so there are two approaches of solving this problem